Hello and welcome to workflow tutorial. So in this lab, we are going to um, enhance the enhance the workflow we have been building. We are going to add a loop. Um, let's see how we can do this. So we are continuing to build on the vacation request. So as always, there will be a zip file available down below this video for you to download, which has all the contents for this uh, in this chapter. So this is the, uh, the vacation uh, uh, request uh, workflow we have been working on. So the request would be sent and the approver would either approve or reject it based on the uh, selection. Uh, they would get uh, separate messages. So we can en enhance it so that uh, once the request is submitted, uh, was sent for rejection, um, the, the user has an option whether to uh, resubmit the uh, vacation with, with a modified date. So once it's submitted, it will it will um, it will come you know if it if it, it goes back to the question request, and it you know it'll be a loop. So the loop will be broken if it's approved or uh, if if it doesn't want to resubmit it. So here is the workflow that we have built. Uh, we are going to enhance this workflow. So so far we have built the attributes, the notification, the messages, and we have tied the notifications to the messages. So we'll start with adding a few attributes, uh, which is called uh, uh, alternate from date and alternate to date. And uh, we will try to see how we can add the loops and everything. So I've opened the workflow in the workflow builder. So I've, I've, we have defined the attributes, we have defined the process, the notification, the messages. Let's go ahead and add two more attributes. So let's go ahead and add a couple of attributes. Let's alternate from date internal name display name is alternate to from date the date and the format is click apply let's go ahead and add the one more attribute okay Let's go ahead and pull these into the proposal messages. Alternate from date, alternate to date. Let's go ahead, uh, put the same thing in the rejected messages. Alternate from date, alternate to date. Let's change uh, these to send, and let's change these to respond. So let's go ahead and expand the process. I'm just going to bring these down a little bit. So here we have to, I'm going to in the note, uh, so in the result type, we're going to specify yes or no. And in the node, it's good. Let's go ahead and tie this here. So it's going to be S. Yes. Go ahead and delete this. And let's go ahead and add, right click and uh, drag it. Click no. Um, let's go ahead and uh, add the messages. Let's go ahead in the body. Let's go ahead and add the format to date. Is a vacation proposal apply? Okay, rejected. Donate to date. So vacation rejected, resubmit. Click apply. So we have to. Go ahead and save it. So let's look at the setup. So we have done that. Let's 
let's go ahead and open the vacation rejected messages go to result display name as vacation rejected resubmit look up type as yes no click apply okay go ahead and save it go ahead and verify it first okay save it file save as let's commit to database for apps password at host name followed by port number followed for slash the uh, service name or the e-business name click connect click ok click ok so you wait for this uh, this, this 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 wait for a few minutes until the database is committed so uh, make sure so then you once you have uh, you, once you once you have the database loaded go ahead and log into ebusiness uh, click on the workflow administrator click on the developer studio search for your workflow type so click go click on run so enter the key information that are required like item key um, from owner from date you click on the, uh, the click submit you click ok let's go ahead and click on the status monitor let's go ahead and search for the workflow type i just uh, <clears throat> select for the workflow started today click go so this would bring the list of all the workflows let's go ahead and select the uh, active one look at the status diagram so they can see that the status diagram is uh, modified to fit the needs. So at this point, uh, the we have it's with the approver for the vacation proposal. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and click on the activity history. Let's go ahead and open the uh, notification. Let's go ahead and reject it. So we can see the alternate from day. You can either specify the alternate from or today. Go ahead and reject it. So you know, go click the go button again. And you can see the new uh, the new process act is open. So go ahead and click uh, open in the notification. So at this point, actually we can see the first we can see the workflow. There's a <clears throat> there's a view workflow. So click on it. So you would see at this point the vacation is rejected. So so this right right now this is with the requester. So he's going to say um, he's going to specify the alternate form and today click yes. So that that at this point the uh, workflow is completed. So when it's yes, so you can see the workflow approved. So basically, it went back to the vacation. So let's go back and look at the workflow. So vacation rejected. Yes. So vacation rejected. Then um, he he submitted he submit resubmitted it. It goes it goes back to the vacation proposal, where the user approves it. Go ahead and open it. At this point, we opened it and approved it. Application approved, and um, it's ended. So that's pretty much the uh, the, the flow is. So I um, hope uh, you were able to follow it. So this is a little bit longer. I could have split it into two, but basically what we have done is we have added a loop to the process with the loop, and we were able to test the loop um, in different combinations. Thank you and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you by adding more complexities to this uh, workflow.